Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today I'm going to be speaking with you about how to wear a blazer jacket with jeans. Now, I've already put out information out there on how to wear a sports jacket with jeans, how to wear a suit jacket with jeans. A blazer is a little bit different, and I'm going to get into that here in a second. But first off, I want to thank Lee Jeans. They are the sponsor of this video. They've made it possible. And yes, I do actually wear Lee Jeans with this blazer actually in particular. I was over at VidCon out in California, sunny uh, Los Angeles, Anaheim area. I guess it's technically different. But I was wearing a pair of Lee Jeans uh, one day at the event with this jacket. It looked, I thought, pretty good. Got a number of compliments on it. In fact, the story is, I was just reading on YouTube, a gentleman was talking about how when he was at VidCon, Con, he had issue. He couldn't get into the Hilton Hotel uh, because they had kind of sectioned it off. And I know myself and Ryan Masters. And you could, if you know Ryan, you could probably say it's just because he's he's built like a tank. Maybe that's why they let us in. But they were stopping a lot of other people. We just walked up, and we were not guests at the Hilton. We were staying across at the Marriott, and we just walked right in. No one questioned us. No one stopped us. And I'd like to believe. It was a lot because we were both wearing jackets. We both looked very presentable. And in fact, some of the comments I'm reading about, you know, some of the people that were frustrated at this event, they were seeing guys in suits walk right in while they were getting stopped. And really, I know, totally unfair, but we do live in a world in which we're judged by our appearance. I know a lot of you guys, you don't want to give up your jeans. So again, in this video, we're going to get into the details, and I'm going to link to an article, by the way, that's going to give you more details, also show you exactly how to pair all this together, but let's go ahead and get into it. Wearing jeans with a blazer. So anytime you're pairing anything with a blazer, you need to understand what is a blazer. Blazer is different than a sports jacket. So the big difference you can see, most blazers are, are solid. Even though they may use a semi-solid fabric, in this case, I'm actually using a Glen Check fabric, uh, but from a distance, most people are going to assume it's solid. Usually, sports jackets are going to use flashier fabrics. You're going to be able to see patterns in them, or you're going to use a wide variety of colors. Blazers, for the most part, are going to be navy blue. You will see some blue blazers, and that will be a true blue. You're also going to see them occasionally in red or green. Again, these are very muted, not, not a bright red. We're talking more of a muted red. Those are going to be pretty rare, and I'm not going to cover them in this video. So for this video purposes, we're going to talk about navy blue. So the big difference with jeans whenever you're wearing this is it's going to appear dressier than a sports jacket. And suit jackets, yes, you could wear a navy blue suit jacket. That one, I'm going to almost equate you're wearing it as an imposter blazer. So it's not truly a blazer because the differences and what really separates a blazer oftentimes are the buttons. So if you look at the buttons here on my jacket, you can see how there's a deep contrast. You don't always see that on sports jackets. You usually do not rarely ever see that on suits. So usually suit buttons are more uh, muted. And this is going to be the true mark of a blazer oftentimes is going to be the contrasting buttons. Now, a lot of guys like to use something with a nautical feel. Technically, that's where the blazer comes from. Uh, so if you go back to the original story, HMS blazer, not for this video, but I'll link to it uh, in the, uh, the article. But usually, you'll see something like silver buttons, gold buttons, or in this case, we're using white mother of pearl. You can also use smoked mother of pearl, or you could use horn buttons. Or I see some people use uh, what is it, plastic buttons, I would try to lose those and upgrade your buttons as soon as possible. So we've talked a little bit about how this is different from the sports jacket or the suit jacket. And again, the main thing is that the blazer falls between, I would say, a full suit and actually the sports jacket and jean look. Now, what are desirable features that you want to have in a blazer jacket. So first off, you want to have softer shoulders. You don't want to have roped shoulders. And those are going to be shoulders where you've got a little bit of a bump or highly structured shoulders where you've got basically a very sharp edge over there at the shoulder point. You want something that's going to fit your shoulders a bit nicer because if you think about it, you're wearing it with jeans. Jeans are casual. You want it to be a little bit more of a casual look. So softer shoulders are desirable. In addition, you want to go for a single-breasted blazer jacket. There are double-breasted blazer jackets out there. You want to avoid them if you're going to be wearing this with jeans. Double-breasted usually a bit higher level. Double-breasted also usually going to have peak lapels on the lapel of the jacket, and you want to avoid that. You want to go for something like notched 
pretty much notch is going to be where it's at. You can also go with a sports look as well. Do I have a, a sport? Yeah, I've got a, a sport build here. This is basically, in case anyone ever wonders, basically I can turn my jacket and it will fully close up as that's how jackets were originally intended to be. So we've talked about the soft shoulders, single breasted, usually two buttons as well. So why two buttons versus three buttons? Three buttons is going to be a little bit more of a buttoned up look. Again, we're working with the jeans. We're trying to go with a little bit more casual of a look with a garment that technically could be dressed up because usually with a blazer you're not always wearing it with jeans in fact most guys aren't going to even try it with jeans because usually a blazer you can wear it with moleskin you can wear it with uh what is it uh, khaki you can wear them with chinos you can wear them with corduroy but jeans are about the low about as casual as you want to get trying to wear a blazer so again we're trying to wear a dressed down blazer and that's the number of the things I'm hitting on. The last thing is make sure the buttons, you're comfortable with them. Me personally, I don't like the gold uh, flashy look of normal blazer buttons. A lot of times when you go into a department store, you buy something off the internet, you just buy a blazer, it's usually going to come with those brass buttons. You'll want to change them out. There's a whole industry out there of blazer buttons that are made specifically. So find something that means something to you. I've seen them for the United States Marine Corps, which many of you guys know I was in the Marine Corps. So buttons like that, actually if they were gold and I had them, I probably would wear them because I actually, you know, for me it's about having a connection to those buttons or liking the, the feel that they give off. So whatever you go with, make sure you're confident, make sure you like them. And uh, so let's talk about what we want to look for in jeans. Now I mentioned that I'm wearing Lee jeans. I'm not just wearing any Lee jeans. I'm actually wearing some of their darker, I would say dressier jeans. They've got this whole modern series and that's what I stick with whenever I'm wearing them with a jacket like this. You don't want to go with anything that's stone washed or anything like that. The key with wearing the blazer with the jeans is you don't want them to look like you're trying to ever wear a suit. That's the one thing, and it's the same rule with the, wearing a sports jacket and jeans, although you have less of, of an issue. Uh, most people are going to be able to tell when they get up close because of the difference in the texture of the fabrics. But if you've got some colored jeans, perhaps white jeans, then this would be something, especially in the summer, you can look at yourself in the mirror. And if you've got the confidence, if you really like that look, you can pull that off. I've seen guys even pull off with red or colored jeans actually wearing that with a dark blue conservative blazer. It's something that adds, it definitely adds a bit of pop. It's more of a summer spring look than it is a, a fall winter look, but I've seen guys pull it off. And the most important thing with any jeans that you're wearing, make sure they fit you well. So if they're too baggy, if they're too tight, if especially if they're too long in the length, you want to get them adjusted to fit you. Okay, and, but please do not wear skinny jeans with a blazer. So besides the jeans, besides the blazer, what else do, would you want to wear with this? Okay, so I do advise wearing a button-down shirt. You can go with something a bit casual and with that you can also wear a necktie. So think of a, um, a, a knitted necktie or you can go with a striped necktie. One of the reasons the striped necktie works is it has a regimental history, basically a military connection. The same thing with the blazer, but you can also wear sport ties and sport ties usually have the small repeating patterns. Uh, Again, if I wanted to wear something maybe with from the University of Texas where I went to school, I've seen some really tasteful ties in burnt orange that have the little longhorns all over it. And I know you Aggies are going crazy, but yeah, you know, or you, if you went to, you know, uh, OU or any, any school, usually they've got something and you can wear it with that. Now, you can also wear a polo. I know a lot of guys, it's going to, that's going to be a little bit harder to pull off, but hot weather, you want to go with something more casual and you wanted to wear a short sleeve white polo. I've seen that and I've seen guys pull it off. You know, you can go with that. And again, that's why we didn't go with the double breasted because sometimes you want to just leave the buttons unbuttoned. And I recommend that for most times you have the uh, jacket button whenever you're standing. However, uh, I've seen guys pull it off and you know, if again, once you get the confidence, you can do a lot of things that I kind of try, I try to steer you down a path in my videos, but once you have the confidence, you can take off in many different directions. So I've talked about the shirt, talked about the necktie, uh, the last thing about the shoes. So you're wearing jeans. 
but still you've got the blazer. So I still like to go with a dressier loafer, a slip on that looks nice, maybe some suede, um, you know, some type of suede shoe. I find that those look really nice. Or you can go with a dress boot. Uh, my buddy Brett McKay over at the Art of Manliness, he loves the Wolverine Thousand Mile. That's a great option. But you can look at a number of other companies that make a dress boot, whether that be a slip on or a lace up. Okay? All right, guys. I want to again thank Lee Jeans for sponsoring this video. They make it possible for me to be able to deliver this to you. And uh, go check out the article. A lot of great content in the article. All right? Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.